artists are leading programs every single day. And they are leading programs with all ages, with adults, with children, with people of many different walks of life here in Bangladesh in the, in the refugee camps. And now for the first time, they, we were able to bring a group of children out of the camp to be able to meet with the children here in the local school. And that experience, that educational exchange, was something that I think showed something important to both sides. It was able to show uh, the perspectives of people who, you know, had to flee from their homes. So I think one of the most special parts of this experience has been really introducing these children to each other and also as the process of introducing them to each other they've also gotten to know about children around the world so by them seeing photos from kids from Palestine kids from Syria kids from Colombia they are able to have this global connection they're connected to all of these children in so many different places around the world and they realize that they are not isolated they are connected Bangladesh, <laughs> Grandfather, music of Alpuna by Ref on the Kara Studio Hadi, a studio and a barana on the Pavali Rakadi. We had one little little boy who came up and said, you know, I know that these people have been through such horrible things, and I feel like it's my responsibility to welcome them into my home. Yeah, and and this boy, we he ended up talking about the fact that he was Buddhist, and that and that he knows what the Buddhists have done in Myanmar. He's been told about it, and he feels responsible for the Rohingya community that's come here, that's come to Bangladesh. <laughs> When I work with them and I saw that how enthusiastically they participate with the work because they didn't allow inside of the Myanmar to paint, even they didn't allow to do any kind of creative work. So when I just talk with them and then I feel like yeah they are they are actually they are inspiring the people and it is the first time in the Rohingya camp history Rohingya people and Rohingya artists are painting for the Rohingya people. This is actually the process of uh, uh, thinking about a uh, critical thinking in the easiest way and uh, through their through this participation they are sharing each other even they, they're able to feel actually how who they are they're able to feel they have a rights they're able to uh, feel about uh, what kind of things they need it's something that now exists 
every single day and thousands of people are seeing this every day and we've had so many local people come up and say wow you know I, I didn't think our community could do this and then yet they did that you can see so many of these different stories that are embodied in this in this really this patchwork this collage of images that tell the story of the displacement of the Rohingya community the the welcoming of the Bengali community and the unknown future but the sharing of ideas and that's what this mural is about it's about being able to have and I think that central image of a, of a Rohingya girl and a Bengali boy with a light bulb right in the center saying that we share ideas, we share our humanity, and that common humanity, that common sensation, that is something that nobody can take away. And nobody can take away the memories of these experiences. And that is so important. The memory of the meeting, the memory of the singing and the dancing and the painting and all of the experiences they've had, that's something that will live with them for the rest of their lives. And that's the core of this work, which is making meaning in the world.